For me, the significance of locks today represents freedom, individuality, self-expression. This hair is part of my strength. It is the biggest part of me, honestly. I'm glad that I get to service people and allow them on their journey as well. My name is Jasmine Thomas. I'm the CEO and owner, also a loctician here at Lockefeller Lock Studio. A lock is a coil, basically. It's our hair in its natural state. So once you begin that coil, that is what forms a lock in your head. So for me, there is a difference between the term dreadlocks and locks. You know, the history of the word dreadlocks is back then they used to say that it was a dreadful hairstyle. It was labeled as dreadful. So we drop the dread, we just say locks, because nothing is dreadful about this hair. <laughs> so a client will come in, I recommend every, we say every four to six weeks, get their hair done, wash, condition, retwisted, design. That's the desired maintenance period, four to six weeks. So today we're gonna be doing my client Ja, my really good friend. I've had my locks for about 14, 15 years. I love the look of locks. My mom has locks. I also came up like really into reggae music. I look at Damian Marley, he makes me want to like grow my dreads down to my ankles <laughs> so I can just like pick it up and wrap it around. His hair is super healthy. I think when I got locks, I thought that it was going to be easy because I don't have to do my hair every day. I can go once every other month or so or whatever, but it's something that you have to be dedicated to and that you have to embrace. Just took my braids out right before today. Right now, I'm really in my straight back phase. So it's just twisting my hair up, braiding it straight to the back. Very simple style. It's just clean. Oh, so we got to go over this. So the first thing that we do is we go to the wash bowl, we wash the hair. We have a four-step shampoo system, scalp rinse, lemon fluff, rejuvenating, and conditioner. Squeeze the locks out really good. Make sure that all the scent is out, all the dirt is out, all the buildup is out. We definitely recommend that you do not wash at home. When we wash it, the suggestion is right after that, we twist it. Because when you wash it and you don't, the locks will stick together and you got the puff, you got the afro here. From the wash bowl, we take them to the chair, sit them down. There are different techniques, you know, that we do to form a lock. When you look at Jaws locks, those have been palm rolled, which is absolutely the preferred method that I love. I start off by sectioning the style that I want to do. So in Jaws case, I'm doing the six barrels back. I will section it out first, put a rubber band on each braid to make sure that I have my six. Each individual lock has to be retwisted. So you will need clips, you need your lock sauce, clip it down, make sure that, you know, there's no hair out of place. If we're talking about Ja now, listen, she doesn't do her homework very well and I have to always separate them, pull them apart. There's sometimes if they get too stuck together, you gotta take the scissors and clip a little tiny piece that's stuck together to rip it apart. You're not cutting any of the hair off, you're just making it as painless as possible for the client. But we work through it, we work through it well as a team. <laughs> The neatness, the precision, that's all a part of the technique. So your technique has to be on point. When you see me doing the barrel roll, you will see me specifically taking the lock from the left side and the right and crossing them over. There will be three lines of locks. The middle will stay middle, left will go over, right will go over. And I'll continue that down all the way to the bottom. Once you get to the bottom and you've braided it down to the very end, if the end is straggly, you can fold it up a little bit. We seal it off with a rubber band, not too tight because the rubber band could also damage if you put it too tight on the ends of the locks. So just enough to hold it in place for a while. That's how you create a barrel roll with the locks. So some locks, you know, depending on the person, depending on the history of the hair, you can get some that are longer than others. For instance, my hair, I can show you on mine. I've been bleaching it. I've had my hair for 15 years. I've had my locks. I've been putting this color on there. They break off sometimes. So I got some pieces that are longer than others. That's just, you know, a part of the journey. It's a part of the process. A 
Okay. <laughs> All right. What do you think? Money yeah. shot. <laughs> Money shot. <laughs> I love it. I mean, the whole process from getting it washed, I feel lighter now. It's fresh. Ain't no hair sticking out. <laughs> My edges is clean. Yeah. I'm just saying, I love the whole look. It's, you know, that's right. classy. Make sure you tie your hair down, put your oil on it. I can feel the lock oil. You already know what to do. Take yep. care of your locks. Until next time. This is a safe space for anybody to come. That's what this is about. That's why I always say it's bigger than hair because it's not just about what you do behind the chair. It's about the lives that you impact. This brand is a family. This brand is about saving lives. This is about love. This is what I stand for. That's what Lockefeller is. That's how this started. I didn't intend to, but that's why I say the path was divine. Hey, y'all got what's my end? What's my catchphrase at the end, man? Oh, shit. <laughs> If you want your dress popping, fella, pull up to Lockefeller. I can show you better than I can tell you. <laughs>